Hi! Welcome to a special edition of Trombone Rick's How to Eat Like a Starving Rock Musician. Last week, before the Super Bowl, the New York Times ran a recipe called a Bacon Explosion. Hits across the country on the internet went through the roof, so we decided it's a little expensive for a rock dude, but it's worth it in the long run because you get more pork value for your dollar. So we're going to make it for you today. The first step is to weave sweet strips of bacon in a latticework pattern. This was new to me as a kid when my childhood friends were at summer camp learning how to weave baskets in which they could carry their dope. I was in my garage mastering the childlike chords to Starless and Bible Black by King Crimson. Now the original crisscross prescription was five bacons on the latticework by five bacons. 25 total bacons. No, that's not right. <laughs> that's 10 bacons. But what we have done, Peter, there isn't enough room in this thing to cook all this. What do we do? We'll do what any helpless musician would do at this point. Call mom. I need to cook two pound, a pound and a half of bacon in a, in a skillet, but I can only fit like half of that. Can I pour it all in there? No, don't do that. Hey, Mom, we've got a bit of a culinary crisis here. I'm cooking a Razorback. Got a quart or two of grease and no place to hide it. Can I pour it, like, into the yard and stuff? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't pour it down the drain. My mom just thinks I'm really stupid. Even rock dudes are worried about the environment. So I've just finished my uh, fourth Keystone Light for the morning. And we'll just cut up. Well, we'll try to try to cut a hole in the top of the can. Oops. Hmm. Nothing like being wrist deep in heaps of uncooked sausage. It reminds me of that necromantic rite scene in Dan Simmons' Song of Kali. <laughs> Delightful. That three-pound log of pig meat may look appetizing, but don't let anyone take a bite until you've cooked the meat thoroughly. The guys at bbqaddicts.com who came up with this recipe think it's sacrilege to cook this in anything but a smoker. But I pawned my smoker to get my 59 Gold Top Les Paul out of hock. That's a guitar, by the way. But I, right now, I think I'd trade it straight up for a slice of this hog bomb. So, according to the instructions, this is going to cook two and a half, three hours. What the idea is, is that we want the interior of the pork bomb to hit to about 165. And when the interior is at 165, what we've done is succeed in nuclear fission, pork style. So I've carved one, uh, one hunk of this uh, porktacular <laughs> H-bomb. I think it's only fair that uh, the director and videographer for Trombone Rick, Peter Hoppy, get to sample this. Peter, come on in and try this. Let's see what uh, your take is on it. Because, you know, as a starving rock dude, I've eaten a lot of creepy stuff. Are you sure you followed the recipe? <laughs> what do you say we share this with uh, some of our colleagues back in the newsroom? I think we should take it back to the newsroom. Would anybody like to try the hog bomb? The hog bomb, we learn, is not for everyone. Would you like to try the hog bomb? I would not, thank you. It's a delicacy for only those palates that shimmer with carnivorous hope, culinary adventure. Make sure you get all that good bacon. And yes, <laughs> grease. You don't want to let nice this. It's greasy, huh? Oh, yes. 